Hey everyone, today we're going to finish up hailstones and halibut bones. We're going to start with what is pink. Pink is the color of a rose. They come in other colors, but everyone knows pink is the mother color of a rose. Pink is a new baby, the inside of a shell. Pink is a cooked shrimp and a canterbury bell. Pink is peach bloom, gauzy and frail. The wind's exquisite wedding veil. Pink is a bonbon. Pink is a blush. Some Easter bunnies are pink plush. If you stand in an orchard in the middle of spring and you don't make a sound, you can hear pink sing, a darling, whispery song of a thing. Pink is a beautiful little sister of red, my teacher said, and a ribbon girl's tie around their head. Pink is the sash with the lovely fold you'll remember when you're old. Pink is the flower on the lady's hat that nods and bows this way and that. The next poem is What is Green? Green is the grass and the leaves of trees. Green is the smell of a country breeze. Green is lettuce and sometimes the sea. When green is a feeling, you pronounce it envy. Green is the coolness you get in the shade of the tall old woods where the moss is made. Green is a flutter that comes in the spring when frost melts out of everything. Green is a grasshopper. Green is jade. Green is hiding in the shade. Green is an olive and a pickle, and the sound of green is a water trickle. Green is the world after the rain bathed and beautiful again. April is green, peppermint too. Every elf has one green shoe. Under a grape arbor, air is green with sprinkles of sunlight in between. Green is the meadow, green is the fuzz that covers up where winter was. Green is ivy and honeysuckle vine. Green is yours. Green is mine. What is yellow? Yellow is the color of the sun, the feeling of fun, the yolk of an egg, a duck's bill, a canary bird, and a daffodil. Yellow sweet corn, ripe oats, hummingbirds' little throats, summer squash and Chinese silk, the cream on top of Jersey milk, dandelions and daisy hearts, custard pies and lemon tarts. Yellow blinks on summer nights in the off and on of firefly lights. Yellow's a topaz, a candle flame. Felicity's a yellow name. Yellow mimosa, and I guess yellow's the color of happiness. At the end here, the authors put one last poem. It says, the colors live between black and white in a land we, uh, that we know best by sight. But knowing best isn't everything. The colors dance and colors sing, and colors laugh and colors cry. Turn off the lights and colors die. And they make you feel every feeling there is, from the grumpiest grump to the fizziest fizz. And you and you and I know well, each has a taste and each has a smell, and each has a wonderful story to tell. That was Hailstones and Halibut Bones. Thanks for listening.